guys, it's Jeanette. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. To kick off this channel, I decided to create my personal uh, version of the 50 facts about me. That is one video tag that I love to see and learn more about YouTubers that I love to follow. So let's just get started and don't forget to leave five facts about you in the comments below so I can get to know you more. I am 27 years old. I am Puerto Rican and have 100% Puerto Rican hair. It's a lot. I was raised in Puerto Rico and at four years old at my family's farm, I was chased by chickens and my calves were pecked at. Very traumatizing. I can speak Spanish and I can also speak a little bit of Nihongo, which is Japanese. I would love to travel to Tokyo, Japan, Hawaii, and Australia. I love planners and any productivity tools that will help me kind of jot things down and really keep in mind what I'm trying to work towards. My favorite colors are pink, purple, and now I'm loving the accent color gold. I used to hate the color gold and now I'm kind of liking it, but I think at true heart, <laughs> I'm a silver girl. I would consider myself having a little bit of a shopping problem and it's only shopping for little things. Little things, stickers, pens, anything that I can use for my planner, yeah, I buy lots of that. My husband doesn't like it. I don't really care to shop for clothes. I get really overwhelmed and I also feel like I don't know what goes together and most of the time the stores are really, really unorganized. So I kind of like to see something online and purchase it online. I do love shopping and collecting purses. I feel like a girl can never have too many purses. So I cannot ride a bike next to someone because I fear that I may fall. So let's talk about swimming. <laughs> yeah, it's something I'm not very good at, but I can swim enough to save myself and I can do laps back and forth in a pool, but I normally get tired really quickly and I just kind of sit in a jacuzzi or on the steps. I have participated in a 10K run before and I do have plans to run again. Maybe I'll try to reach for a half marathon. Maybe, I don't know, that's scary. I have a childhood bear that I slept with last night and her name is Pinky. Pinky was actually with me in the NICU for many months because I was born premature. If nursing school doesn't work out, which I know it will, I jokingly tell people that I would consider being a comedian and they just laugh at me. My husband and I moved across the country and left both of our families. That's probably one of our best things that we've done for our future. We really wouldn't have traded it at all. It does get lonely sometimes. I absolutely love talking to people and I most likely will talk to anyone that's willing to listen. Strangers. I just kind of go, go, go and talk, talk, talk. And my father-in-law definitely knows what to expect whenever we do decide to have children. We're gonna have grandchildren I'm just gonna talk their ear off. I was raised by my grandmother, rest in peace, Lala. I played the trumpet throughout high school and that really drove her nuts. She really wanted me to become a teacher or a nurse, but I just wanted to be a musician. <laughs> Did I mention I will graduate nursing school in December? I can't wait. I did get a full tuition scholarship for my trumpet playing, so I guess that paid off. I went to school and I got a bachelor's in music in production engineering as well as music business management. Did I mention that I completed this dual major degree in less than three years, 10 semesters straight, one being the semester my grandmother passed. But I'm so glad I pushed through and completed it. I have had things happen to me in the past that I tried to pray away, and now that I'm older and wiser, I now understand why I had to go through that and what I'm to do with my past experiences. I currently work as an audio engineer and work for churches mixing worship. I love live sound and I love worship. Good worship is awesome. I enjoy traveling and going on mini road trips, but I'm not allowed to drive because I drive pretty slow, and by slow I mean the speed limit or five miles per hour below it. I absolutely love coffee. <sighs> yeah, and if I don't drink it, I normally get a headache. I absolutely love collecting mugs. My husband was surprised shortly after we got married. Whenever we went out, I would come home with a new cup. Yeah, he didn't know about my mug collection. <laughs> he does support it and does buy me mugs with different state names when he goes on business. I would love to collect a mug from every single state. Those are my mug goals. I need more space to myself in my house. I need like a woman cave to house all of my crafty stuff, my YouTube recording stuff, and just my office. I have it all designed. <laughs> I enjoy scrapbooking, although the last scrapbook that I did was to capture the memory of our one year anniversary. I'll be married four years next month. Time flies. 
I enjoy reading books that will help me and inspire me, anything to improve myself, and anything that's really just motivational. I absolutely love my iFitNurse YouTube community. You guys really have made me accountable and I think you are one of the top reasons why I've become successful in nursing school. I am always on social media, which is a bad habit. I'm trying to be mindful to put my phone away when I'm out. I love camping at Starbucks and I'm known as a regular if they know what drink I get. <laughs> kind of cool, I guess. I love spending time alone. I can go to Starbucks or anywhere and just really sit and reflect, meditate what I want to work towards in the future. And a lot of that has come from me visioning what I want to do and how I can help others. And that's kind of why this whole blogging and YouTube stuff kind of came about. I would say people would hopefully consider me as a good friend. I try to be a good friend. I love hearing other people's problems just because I get to help them work through it. I love seeing people succeed and overcome their obstacles. That's probably why I at one point wanted to be a psychologist. I kind of would love to be a positivity life coach. I really do enjoy sharing any knowledge that I learn to help others. It's great to see others succeed and I'm a huge believer in helping others get to where they want to be. Lastly, I love blogging and blogging. For those that don't know, I have a YouTube channel dedicated to my nursing school journey and my blog at ifortnurse.com. And for those that don't know, I have a personal blog and you can check it out, JeanetteY.com, that kind of is an addition to this new YouTube channel. There you have it, 50 facts about me. Let me know what we have in common, as well as five facts about you down below so I can get to know you guys more. If you really enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And like always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share the videos. Bye.